America's Got Talent, Courtney had wins impressive performance and received the golden buzzer. A British schoolgirl has won a place in the quarterfinals of America's Got Talent after wowing judges with her stunning audition. Courtney Hadwin, 13, from Hesleton, in County Durham, received a standing ovation from all four judges for her stirring rendition of Otis Redding's Hard to Handle on Tuesday night's program. Judge Howie Mandel was so impressed he hit the golden buzzer, fast-tracking Courtney to the live shows and ensuring she remains in the running for the $1 million prize. The teenager is no stranger to talent competitions, having narrowly missed out on the top prize on The Voice Kids UK last year. But unlike many budding stars currently is not a show-off when she is away from the spotlight. Indeed her own grandfather describes her as painfully shy. Her quiet nature was apparent when Courtney, a student at the Academy at Shotton Hall, in Petterley, stepped on stage for her audition in the packed auditorium. She was reassured by judge and former Spice Girl Mel B who said, I know this is a big stage with lots of people here, but you're here for a reason so go for it and good luck. As the music started, Courtney's nerves disappeared, and she launched into a confident performance of Redding's 1968 hit, complete with enthusiastic dance moves befitting of a fully-fledged rocker. The transformation stunned Judge Simon Cowell, who said, Bloody hell Courtney. You were this shy little thing when you came out. Then you sang, and you're like a lion. I mean, genuinely incredible. But it was comedian and actor Mandel who sealed her fate. The judge compared the 13-year-old to Janis Joplin, who won a record deal as a youngster at a festival. Though he couldn't offer a record deal, he said the best he could do for Courtney was to press the golden buzzer, parachuting her straight to the live show. You are not from this era. You're from a whole different era, he said. Each judge can only use the golden buzzer for one act during the audition stages, so the Canadian was clearly overwhelmed by the teenager's talent. Courtney was joined on stage by her father, who hugged her as she wiped back tears. Mandel and presenter Tyra Banks later joined the singer on stage. Courtney later posted on Twitter, I didn't know what to expect when I auditioned for at AGT, but the golden buzzer was more than I ever could have dreamed of. Thank you so much at Hawaii Mandel I am so happy and can't thank you enough xx. The 13-year-old will now appear before the judges on the live shows, where audiences will play a role in competing for a $1 million prize. The Voice Kids Courtney was just 12 years old when she appeared on ITV children's talent show The Voice Kids last summer. However the aspiring singer was initially less successful than she was on America's Got Talent, with just one of the three judges turning around at her audition. She stuck to her rock and soul roots, performing Ike and Tina Turner's Nutbush City Limits and Martha and the Vandellas hit Dancing in the Streets in the first two rounds of the competition. She followed it up with a third classic, James Brown's I Feel Good. Courtney showed off her dance moves throughout the talent show, giving judges and viewers a powerful all-round performance. It was enough to earn Courtney a place in the live finals of the show which returns to ITV this summer, under the guidance of mentor and McFly star Danny Jones. Social media star. Like many aspiring chart toppers, Courtney has already built a devoted fan base online. The teenager regularly posts on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, where she keeps fans updated with upcoming performances and new releases. A recent Instagram post shows Courtney sitting at a computer holding a sheet of handwritten song lyrics. Another social media clip captures the schoolgirl rehearsing a new track at her keyboard at home. The posts are often met with excited comments from fans who praise her as great and amazing. Courtney's family are also supportive of all she has achieved. Speaking ahead of the Voice UK semi-finals, the schoolgirl's grandfather, Tom Story, told the Inverness Courier he was over the moon at her success. He also revealed she was painfully shy. He said, if you ever met her, you would hardly believe she was the same girl singing and dancing on that stage. But as soon as she gets a microphone in her hand, well, it's like two different people.